It's also the Monday after for the nation's political realm. The ruling Kennedy Party's floor leader says he'll step down, holding himself accountable for President Park's impeachment in Parliament. And the three main opposition parties have decided to form a consultative body to minimize vacuum in carrying out state affairs. Our parliamentary correspondent Park Ji Won brings us up to speed on the immediate follow-up to Friday's vote. The floor leaders of the ruling Senuri Party, Chong Jin Seok and Chief Policymaker Kim Gwang Nim, said Monday afternoon they would resign to take responsibility for the impeachment vote against President Park Geun-hye. They have served as the ruling party's floor leaders since early May. The core of conservative politics is responsibility. As the president's power has been suspended, the ruling party should also bear the same weight of responsibility. Chung asked the party to remain united in this time of crisis, but in reality, the party is deeply divided. Its pro-president Park faction, most of whom represent the current leadership, denounced the non-pro Park faction, whose members publicly supported the president's impeachment. They represent the politics of betrayal, who push for the president's impeachment for their own benefit. The Senuri party will change only when the current leadership leaves. The opposition bloc, meanwhile, said Monday that they will prioritize the public's wishes and work to improve people's livelihoods. The public knows that the follow-up measures of the impeachment motion are more important, as the main opposition party will do our duty. As we all know, it was the people's power that brought about impeachment. We will always consider their desires in our discussions at Parliament. The leaders of the three main parties met Monday and agreed to an extraordinary parliamentary session that starts Monday and continues until the end of the month. They also agreed to set up a consultative body with the government to discuss policy and will launch a special committee on revising the constitution, an issue they came up before the scandal broke and focused on changing the president's term and power. At a press conference earlier in the day, National Assembly Speaker Chong se gyun said Parliament should set new standards for the country. The public is not only demanding the impeachment of the president, but a new Republic of Korea with a more just and transparent society. The speaker also vowed to listen to the people and ensure the National Assembly reflects their voices in the future. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.